Oh my God, I've had it, girls, on my show today. We're sitting at a table like we're doing the news. <laughs> yes, What's we up? are. Very official in New York City. Oh my God, yeah. these Oklahoma girls. Yes. Are taken New York. That's right. <laughs> What's going on? So I've been referring to pumps since we've been here as big tits in the big city. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they weren't. I wish it was little tits in the big city. Really? It's, Do you want to get a reduction? I hate, yes. I hate having huge boobs. Hate really? It. Yeah. I know. I think it's always the people with big boobs want the small boobs and the people with small of boobs course. want the big boobs. Yeah, what's yes. what you can't have. But yeah, I picture myself in a white tank top with little nips. Would be yes. so cute. Like a la Kendall Jenner. Yes. 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 And plus mine are mm-hmm. saggy as I get older. It's the sag and dragon. <laughs> I was just looking today. I have a tattoo under my boob. You guys know where this is going. It's just like <laughs> to see it. <laughs> like I like my boobs, to be honest. Right. I do. I like them and I like natural boobs. I right. like boobs that like have a little gravity. Right. But it's just wild. Like what was I? It's like you can't really see the tattoo. <laughs> it's like right under. Um, Jennifer Welch and Angie Pump Sullivan. Pumps, where did that come from? Jennifer and her husband. Started- oh, it's you? Nickname. It's her. you. Yes. Yeah, it's me. It's I'm the culprit. They nickname everything. That family nicknames dogs, kids, each other. So I was Angelina Pumpkin Tina, and then I was Tina full of pumps, and then pumps just stuck. Wait, and you came up with all of it? Yes. Your husband is cute. Yeah, he's super cute. He he's, is really cute. Yeah, but I, we have to keep that on the DL. Like, yeah. Because, you know, the narcissism, we've got to keep it beat like down, you want to be Like you want to make sure you're like... The hot one. Absolutely. And no one thinks otherwise. Right. Yeah. Right. I have to live with him. So if we start going on a 10 minute, you know, like about how cute he is, he'll listen to it on repeat and I live there, (laughs) you know? Wait, do you tell him, do do you get comments now? Like, oh, I mean, he loves, he always jokes around, like he's been on our pod a couple of times and he's like, I mean, the comment section is on fire (laughs) for Josh Welch. He's got a great personality. And he's really self-deprecating. But, like, if he were sitting here, I'd be like, do not tell him he's too cute. And he'd be like, Amanda, go on. (laughs) You know what's so funny? I feel like with men that happens, like, women, we can get a thousand compliments a day. And then, like, one mean thing and we hate ourselves. Yeah, right. With guys, like, they'll get one compliment. And then it's... And they'll be like... Like, somebody says excuse me to my husband (laughs) on the street and he's like, I don't know. Like... she I don't kinda know. like me. She, you know, <laughs> you're like, how would you even deal with like getting two messages saying you're cute? Oh yeah. <laughs> it would be horrible. I mean, it would be bad though, for like, everybody. After you have sex with a man, the praise they need, like, how was it? <laughs> and it's about a ten to twenty minute, you know, lingering, permeating oh vibe where you have to go. It was great. You did a great job. You were killing it. You crushed and what about it. how their ego gets bruised when you're not in the mood? Uh, oh yeah. yeah, it's a personal. Yeah, yeah, I know it. It's a, you know. Okay, so I heard this guy. Oh my god, who said it? It was on a podcast. Oh, it was Zach Shepard. I love him. Oh, I gotta love um, him. He said it, and it made, really made sense. He said because guys would fuck anything, <laughs> <laughs> anything, right? Unless like they hated the person, right? A guy can't understand why you wouldn't want to have sex with him, so they think you must hate him. Do you understand? Projection. Right. It's total so, projection. So I'm like, oh, my God. But that's so far Makes from the truth. Sense. Like right. with, with women, right? right? We have a thousand reasons. But that really, I'm like, oh, he thinks I hate him every time? No. Yeah. I'm just like tired, have a headache, have a tummy right. ache. Like, Or especially after you've had kids. It's like I have been touching and dealing with somebody's needs all day long. You don't want anyone to fucking touch you. I know. Right? You yeah, know, I there's, know. A, there's a phase when you have infant toddler where it's just like, you're, I, I was so done with taking care of kids. I'm like, nobody fucking touch right. me. There's nobody yeah. talk No, the to men me. go through a lot when you have kids. Yes. It's like you're, when he put his feet on me <laughs> on the couch at night, and I realized like, oh, my God, I used to rub your feet. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Really, it's I not happening again. Yeah. Yeah. Like, puts his feet on me. I, I swear I looked at him like, like, gonna vomit, gonna. <laughs> and he's like, you used to do it. And then he, like, flexes the toes. Oh. He does the little, like, I'm Very ready. Nice. I'm yeah. ready for some. Yeah. For, and I'm like, that is really not happening. Happening. And I now, when I think about it, I feel bad. I'm like, that used to happen. I used to make you coffee in the morning. Yeah. Right. All these things that, like, are, sorry. And I have one kid. How many kids do you have? Two. Do you have children? Three. Three. Yeah. What happens then? No. Nothing. <laughs> well, you go through, like, mine now are 20 and 16. Mm. And so you kind of, you know, marriage is kind of like you fall in love, 
you fuck like rabbits. It's fucking awesome. Then you get married and you're like, shit, I fucking live with this person. Right. And the way they breathe makes me hate <laughs> their fucking guts. Yes. I hate them. And this is it. And then, you know, a couple of weeks later, you can fall in love again. You can like them again. Total right. schizophrenic I was just actually thing. telling my therapist this because like, and I don't want to sound like I'm like, really chic and in therapy for a long time. I went back two weeks ago and just canceled on her for this week. <laughs> it sounds like I'm like one of those. Um, I came back and I was like, oh, it's, oh, it's $200. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys know what was so funny? When I came back to her, I used to go to her years ago when I was poor. And so she gave me like a really good rate. And she was apparently being considerate. And right. then I go into the room feeling I could talk about murdering somebody. So I'm telling her how much money I'm making. Oh, and I'm like, this is a safe space. <laughs> Not realizing we didn't discuss the new rate <laughs> yet. No, this is a true story. How stupid am I? You dicked yourself I over. Fucking. And then when I start, like, hassling my way, she's like, Amanda, like, you just told me, like, Right. I know you have the She money. literally had the guts to say that to me, though. Well, that's pretty amazing for I a mean, therapist. But she literally, like, is Amanda, like, you're making money now. Right. Like, you can do it. And I'm like, but I don't want to pay for this, right. you know? <laughs> it's, I have to come here and, right. like, I'm being forced to come here by some, like, internal. Anyway, what what I figured out with her and the one time I went in the last whatever <laughs> was that she was like, you're liking him more recently. And I was like, oh, I am. Yeah. How and nice. I realized that, like, you do there that. is, like, I hated him when Noah was born. Yes. Because, like, I had to give birth. Yeah. And you did this to me. Right. You know? Right. And you didn't have to do any of it. Right. And also, he less needs you. Than right. me. Yes. So I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> and then it took me time and I'm nice again. Yeah. Well, lucky I'm for my, him. <laughs> I'm nice again. But anyway, I want to talk about, um, you were just telling me because that you just started your pod and that I'm the reason. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that I made you it are a big, No, no, no. You really well, are. I like you. I was a tiny pod. I'm like, what? So we started the pod. We were on a Bravo show for a couple of seasons. Sweet. Sweet Home, Oklahoma. Yeah. We had two seasons. And then... When was this? This was 2016 through 2019. Okay. Okay. Was it just two of you? We had one other friend do it with us. How did that happen? And Josh. So it was just like a random... I got a Facebook message once from somebody that followed me on Instagram. Followed your like design stuff? Just... I didn't even have a design account at the time. And it was... But I mean, I did like Jennifer Welch and I would have design stuff. And then myself personally, I'm like, hey, we're casting for a reality show. I didn't think it was real. So I didn't respond. And then I got another one. So I Googled the person. It's real. And I was Facebook friends with her. And we had like some mutual friends. And then I'm on a Zoom, which was actually Skype at the time. And then <laughs> I'm on. And then like like literally three days later, a Bravo exec is in Oklahoma City. Did and it, you know her before? I've known her for 20 years. Oh, so you, br- you were kind of like, I have this friend. She's also great. But she didn't show. tell me about it. No. So, so I told the producer. I said, listen, I'm going to have my friend Pumps come over. She's fucking television gold, and I'm not going to tell her who you are or what you do. I'm just going to say you're a gay friend of mine that's in town. So she comes she didn't over. Tell you for real? No, no did not. She tell comes me. over to my back porch, no bra, sagging dragons, <laughs> in Robe. her pajamas. She sits <laughs> down. We do live close. Very close. Yeah. She sits down, open, taps her Marlboro lights, puts on a surgical <laughs> glove, takes her <laughs> cigarette out, lights her glove, and says, "So how long are you in Oklahoma City?" <laughs> and the guy is just like. How can we get this thing going like immediately? Like cameras yeah. rolling. <laughs> oh my god! And now I have to watch. Oh yeah, you got to go back it and watch fun. it. It's the fun. The next day, though, she call, uh, she called me. And goes, I have to tell you something about Babs, and I was like. Okay, what? Yeah. She's like, he's a real... And I was just like, that's bullshit. That's a scam. I mean, I just we just did not believe it. And then it was true. And then it happened. How long from that meeting till when you started filming? Five months. Five or six months, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, first they're... of all, now I really have to watch. So you do that Bravo show... And then you, and how the podcast come about? So six months ago, you said you started? Six months ago. For about a year and a half ago, our kids during COVID were like, you still have so many people that like you on Instagram that say, bring the show back, that are still fans. Why don't you guys do a podcast? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our teenage kids. So I was like, I mean, what the hell? We can try. I'm sure it'll face plant like nobody's business. Right. And then we can just, after that, we can say we will never be in any sort of like entertainment, entertainment right. yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. I mean, th- that will be the end. So we started up. Kylie joins us and 
a girl in the office. I was like, hey, get me some cool podcasters because I don't listen to podcasts. And if I do, it's true crime. I mean, I need murder. I need just <laughs> dark, the dark parts of humanity yeah. in my ear, right? So a girl that works for me, millennial, she's like, she lists like 10 people where you were one of them. I said, message every single one of them. You were the only one that responded and said, oh my gosh, yes, I would absolutely do your pod. And yeah. you were booked like two weeks out. So then I start listening. I'm like, oh, this girl is awesome. Yes, She's amazing. And I, we always say we will have the fondest spot in our hearts because you responded, like you supported us, like a woman supporting other women, supporting the industry. Yeah. And we got a big bump from your followers yeah. that came over. So oh my God. I, was, that's awesome. I mean, seriously, like you did something really, really sweet. Oh my God. That's so cool. I... I mean, I've had it. Is a je- like I'm jealous. <laughs> like I want to talk about that every day. Oh yeah. <laughs> when I was asked to come on your pod, and I looked at the the clips. They were so funny. Both of you are so funny. The the theme of the podcast. I love when a podcast has a theme. You know, there's so many podcasts out there, and it's like you don't know sometimes. Like, oh, but what is this about? Right. So I really like when it has like a, a vibe, like right. a certain kind of thing. So I've had it. It just like spoke to me. And then when the whoever was contacting me about coming on was like, think about a few I've had. It's, I was like, every day I was like, I was just like, and now I just keep a, I feel like I keep a, a list, list now. Cause now when we scheduled you to come on mine, I was like, if you think we're not doing, I've had it. So we are, <laughs> right. um, I'm stealing your show. So I started writing them down for this and I'm like, I've had it as such a genius kind of concept. How'd yeah. you come up with that one? So for years we would always say, let's have a dead horse session where we beat a dead horse, where we drag out a dead horse and beat the ever living shit out of it. Neither one of us smoke anymore, but we both used to smoke. We'd get six. up at six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. yeah. I get love, up. I love, I, I like promote six on my account. People don't like that so much. We, and I, mean, I don't even really smoke anymore either. I used to, it. but I think some people really look cool doing it. And I'm going to say it's so it. much cooler than vaping. Yeah, we I love know. cooler. I We'd know. wake up at five a.m. and I have always, for years, my mother always says, has said, "I've had it," and I've always said, I've "Like if you it. watch our TV show, you'll hear me say, i have had it.'" Yeah, and so it was just a natural progression of what our friendship is. Yeah, and our default setting, we're pretty positive people, but we are kind of cynical yeah. and we yeah. love to just About petty shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's it's Wait, so therapeutic. It blew up. Yeah, recently. Yeah. What is it? The clips, the clips, and then I'm but like, you know been... that usually podcast clips like don't go very well. So whoever is doing them for you, it's Kyler. Kyler. Over I'm there. telling you, podcast clips are like not where it's at. Somehow, your recipe, whatever it is, is working. Yeah. How do you explain it? Well. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Yeah, we're we middle-aged no women, okay? Right. So it was a perfect storm of we have – what you see, this is a very organic friendship. Yeah. And whether we're do, talking about what we've, what we've had it with on a pod, we still talk on the phone 24/7. three and four times a day. Yeah. yeah. We're sharing a People hotel love, room. People love, like, the natural shit. Yeah. You know? The, or, like, you can't try – sometimes, like, the recipe for success is just, like, having it. Like chemistry. Yeah. We have a really good chemistry. So it was yeah. like a perfect storm. We had that. And then Kylie has just an incredible knack for understanding how to create content and blow shit up. She was like, my goal is I'm going to blow you sh- blow you guys up on Kylie. social media. Yeah. She also looks like she's not from Oklahoma. We were just right. talking. She's from yeah. Stillwater, Oklahoma. Is that like small? Yeah. No, that's, I mean, I get, do I look that, like I'm from Oklahoma? No, you don't. So I, probably you. Look like from, <laughs> I probably look like I'm from Oklahoma. That's fine. Okay. No, but. Like, do you feel now we're going to move to L.A.? No. no. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, I travel all the time yeah. and and come to New York a lot. I was just, I've been here How for a week. How long is the flight? Two, Two and, and a half, half hours. hours. Okay, not bad. That's not bad. And I've been here for a week. They just got here yesterday, but I was meeting with interior design clients. So I come up here three and four times a year. I travel abroad. I mean, so I'm not just like. You know, some redneck like pumps. <laughs> no, I'm a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a total redneck. Wait, so your kids are like teenagers. Yes, I have one that just finished junior year in college. One just finished sophomore year in college, and then I have junior in high school. Are so they friends at year. all? Oh yeah, yeah, they're yes. friends. Do they yeah. get embarrassed now that the clips are like viral? Uh, my oldest, he was, he's at college in a fraternity, and he's like, "Mom, you would not believe how many people come in here and go, why is your mom on my TikTok?'" Oh my and god! Like, oh, you're I'm on TikTok so too. The clips oh, are yeah. on TikTok. Oh, oh yeah. my jeez. That's where it's the most viral. Is really? TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. And my kids love it. I yeah. mean, they absolutely they love it. Yeah, Roman, my youngest son, one of his moms has like a YouTube channel where she's like 
a YouTube evangelical preacher. Mm. And so he's like, Mom, you're just so much cooler. Oh my I mean, God. I would die of embarrassment. Wait, so, they think, so it's like the opposite of embarrassed. They think it's cool. My kids, yeah, yeah they think it's cool. Oh, my God. Yeah. My boys don't watch. I mean, my daughter's totally into it, but my both my boys are like, nah. Yeah. I asked my son sense. one time why he doesn't watch. He goes, I have listened to you and Jennifer say that crap my entire life. It's like the soundtrack of my life, so why would I listen Which, to so it? How do you know each other for 20 years? She, I hired her to do an interior design project on my first house. Oh, wow. Yeah. But my husband and Pumps knew each other before. Right, through legal circles. Because he's an attorney and I'm an attorney. Oh, you're an attorney. Do you yeah. still practice? Yes. Just divorce, though. That's the only thing I know oh anything God, about. Oh, my God, stop. People yeah. hire you to do their divorces? Yes. yes. Damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you usually do the wife or the husband? Typically, I mean, either. She just yeah. did a lesbian divorce. She just did a lesbian divorce. Oh, my um, God. I think, do you ever use it for content? No. Okay. No. I, no, I know you can't sell, like, names and yeah. but stories. Well, certain, some little the stories. Edges. Yeah. The edges. She can dabble on the edges of but old yeah, cases. yeah, I can't get too far into it. But I get a lot of weird shit happening. I feel like it's kind of, is it sad doing divorces, or is it kind of, like, salacious? There's a lot of salaciousness yeah. to it. And a lot of times it's happy because somebody's getting out of a really bad situation. Mm. But what I hate is fighting over kids, which is a lot of what I do. Mm. And you just know that it's going to be really hard on them. Yeah. You know who just filed for divorce? I wonder if this is too niche for you guys. Um, you know the actor Jeremy Allen White? He was in Shameless. They're both looking at me if you guys know. Okay, I watched Jeremy Shameless. Jeremy Allen White. I watched Shameless too. Okay. Lip. He smoked six. I have to see his face. Yeah, I have Okay, to see his face. he was now in The Bear. Oh, okay, yes, okay, yes, 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 okay. So the he, son. he, the what? He was the son of the shameless guy, and he was. Right, right, oh, yeah, 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 the shameless okay. guy, yeah, 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 and the chef and bear. Okay. And the bear? Bear. The bear. I don't know. You're okay. going to be a lot cooler and hip on that stuff <laughs> yes, than we, we are. are. Okay, well, I just want to, because divorces. <laughs> so it was just announced that him and his wife, they've been together since he was 14 years old. They were 14, just announced for divorce. And. Now, I just read that she filed. And I feel like when somebody files, that's like you kind of know, like, who, like, you can kind of start deducing what well, happened. No? It's really hard to do that because sometimes people want to run out to the courthouse and file first, yeah. but really there's no advantage to it. But, like, if he's in New York, he'll have to prove fault. We don't have that. No, but, like, if she filed, that means that, that she she's want, mad. That she wanted to, that she wanted out, not always? Not always. Okay. Because there's, like, cheating rumors. So I'm like, if she filed, then, then he, he might be cheated. cheating. Now, yeah, that yeah. happens. That like, happens. Show, you know. Okay. Anyway, that's the recent divorce. Um, I've ha- I have some I've had it. So oh, guys. good. Okay, okay let's, let's hear them. Okay. This is a big one. You know Sophia Ritchie? Yes. Yes. Okay, I've been following her for so long. Even if before her and Scott Disick were, were dating. She, then she had this glow up, which we call the post-Scott effect. <laughs> because everybody who dates Scott Disick, when they date him... They're not too great. After they glow up, which is I, I don't think he's up. that hot. Like, it's not even about the hot. First of all, he's cute. He is cute. He, okay. he might not be in his best, you know, shape right now. Right. Okay. But he's like funny. Okay. He's, you know, he's cute. But and he gets these girls, and when they're dating him, you're like, oh, whatever. Like, because he dates these like young girls. But when really they break young. up, Sophia got this like glow up. She's like a Chanel girly now. She's like all classy. She's like 24. She's classier than I'll ever be. She, and Amelia um, Gray Hamlin, you know, the daughter of Lisa Rinna. Yes. Yes. So she dated him. It was also kind of uh, a child. Then now she's like this like fashion model. Yeah. She's very chic. So it's like the post Scott glow up it's called. So Sophia Richie had it super famous, you know, on Instagram and whatever. But no one was really noticing. I was following her. I was always like, you guys, she's so chic. She's so this. She's so perfect. She just got married to this really rich uh, British dude. I saw that. I saw that. And again, everything Chanel, very chic. And her wedding kind of went viral. Yeah. That's how I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. And she gained, because I kept track, because it was so interesting to me. She gained like over a million followers in the course of that like wedding, which was like a couple days. And now she's getting invited to the fashion shows. She's getting the big sponsorships. And not that she wasn't followed before. She was. Right. But this is my, I've had it as, I love Sophia, liked her, think she's great for a while. I feel like the herd mentality 
that can sometimes be negative with like the cancellations and the hating on someone also works in the other way sometimes <laughs> yeah. where it's like, oh my God, Sophia, where it's like, hello. Yeah. Or with Ariana from Vanderpump Rules. Do you know the Vanderpump yeah. Rules drama? Yes. Yes, but I don't know who, I mean, I don't know who the players she are, the but I've heard that, about it. She's the one that was cheated on that now she's being invited to like the White House gotcha. dinner right. gotcha. for being cheated on. Okay. Right. And okay. I love Ariana. But right. these are two examples of like the herd mentality that happens here. Right. right. I don't know what here is. Maybe it doesn't happen in, like, Spain. But I feel like in Spain it doesn't happen. You know, they just, like, like people and they don't make a big deal. Here it's like, can we just have things in moderation? You know? No, absolutely not. Not in this country. (laughs) Absolutely not. Like, I like Sophia, but now they're blowing her up. And what I'm scared is going to happen is... I, I, I just fear for it because I'm like, now you're going to blow her up. You're going to put her on this pedestal. You're going to make her this untouchable goddess where it's like, she's been here. She's been right. looking this right. cute. She's been living her life. And with Ariana from Vanderpump Rules, she was cheated on. That's awful. But let's not make her the prime minister. Right. You know? She's not right. a martyr. She, yeah, yeah, she's not. She's not curing cancer. Right. Right. Like, it's wild to me. And the, and everyone's like, she needs to be, you know, the next this. And she needs to go to the Met Gala. It's like, no, Ariana's not going to be invited to the... And again, love Ariana. Right. But I, it scares me when people blow people up right. and blow people down, blow right. people up in, in both ways, I right, guess. Right, right. No, I see that it's kind of like Pedro Pascal. Yes. He's been this amazing actor. Yes. For a long Coolidge. time. Yes. yes. Hello. Yes. And then all of a sudden, like, it's, I think it's the introduction of, like, social media and more people are on it. Yeah. It just exacerbates. And everybody has to be like, oh, I've got to follow him. My friends are following and they're right. And it, it makes me feel so yucky when I, you know, I wasn't zadding up uh, Pedro. Pedro. I heard that saying Pedro is not good. Oh, Pedro. Pedro, Pedro yeah. Well, we're from Oklahoma, so it's so, Pedro. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> so I was trying to just be like, I was watching his show, The Last of Us was good, but I wasn't being all like, zaddy, zaddy. You know, I was trying to avoid being like everybody else. Then I saw this interview with him, and I put it up, and I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm like everybody else. He's great. <laughs> he's great. But he, I, mean, I want to not. But I liked him before that as well. He yeah. was in Game of Thrones. He was around. He was in Narcos. Narcos. Loved him in Narcos. Narcos. Incredible. And so he's had this amazing career, and now, it's like all of a sudden and it's, it's too like much. you've been in, he's been incredible and an incredible actor all this time but he's like the flavor of the man right he's the, and that's what we do I wonder do. if they get worried like if he's writing it being like oh my god this is great or if he's like cuz I f- feel the way about Jennifer Coolidge I think that she's a good example too she's been around forever. Right. I mean forever Right. And Best in Show is I, one of the best movies ever. Yes. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen Best no, in Show? No. Awful I should, right? Incredible. But she's been in Seinfeld and Legally Blonde. Oh, Obviously yeah. cameos up the wazoo, uh, Stifler's mom, <laughs> all the shit. She I I did um the red carpet for the this J Lo movie with um Josh Dumel and she was I a love small Josh part. Dumel. And I was so, so sexy, hot. yeah. Um thought we had a moment. Looked back, probably wasn't a moment. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was so funny because it was J-Lo and Josh's movie, but Jennifer had the role as his mom, which is probably filmed before she blew up on uh, White Lotus. Right. So, and you could tell when you're on a carpet who is, like, the most important person of the night based on, like, you know, who comes out first or, like, the extras and, like, then the directors and nobody right. really cares to talk to. And then you would think, like, J-Lo and Josh would come last, but no, no, no. Oh, really? And J-Lo and Josh stopped to talk to me. Guess who didn't stop to talk to me? <laughs> she was too big time. She was too big time. Her yeah. publicist wouldn't let her talk to anybody. Yeah. Like, huh. they swept swept her away, and I was like, but my point of that is not to say that. It's also to, to show, like, that she was the diva of the night, um, which, like, poor J-Lo, because every um, uh, a reporter on the carpet was like, what was it like working with Jennifer Coolidge? And I'm uh-uh. like, J-Lo was the star of the movie. But only anybody cared to talk about was Jennifer Coolidge. But one of my questions for Jennifer that I didn't get to ask because she didn't stop talking to me was – because that would be me because I'm such a fucking negative person, but it would be, are you so happy about this or are you also like, fuck you, I've been around. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Is there any part of you that has that like, hello, I've been here dying for some I fucking think, love, you I know? I think if you're an athlete or an actress or you're in the entertainment industry, you have to ride that wave when right. you can write it, Whenever it comes. because there's always going to be the next bright, shiny object. So, I mean, I'm sure they probably feel that to some extent, but I would say you've got to write it, you know, as best you can, yeah. because it's going to 
you yeah. know, deflate at right. some point. Like write it, but also know that it's ending. Right. Absolutely. It's, yeah. It doesn't go on forever. Yeah. And I also, the thing about social media that bothers me is, like you said, they build somebody up, build somebody mm-hmm. up. And then the minute they put a foot wrong, they just tear them down. Yeah. I mean, it's like they almost lift them up so they can tear them down yeah, at some they, point. They lift them up. They create like this unreal thing of this perfect right. human that right. they don't, you don't know Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> but that the thing like Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner like his fans went fucking wild I don't know if you girls heard this but Bad Bunny is a is a Latino rapper okay singer uh, and not rapper <laughs> take that and pose I'm scared of his fans <laughs> <laughs> not rapper he's not a rapper um, uh, oh my god okay whatever he is rapper singer so they started dating his fans went fucking wild like she doesn't deserve him he doesn't he's not into the Kardashian bullshit whatever I'm like how do you know him right what if he <laughs> loves that bullshit <laughs> anyway I've had it with that too okay I have a, another I've had it okay this is so fun I'm so jealous of your show <laughs> I could do this all day okay canned motherfucking alcohol Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The brands keep on coming out. Yeah. Er, do you drink them? I don't drink anymore. You don't I drink used any, to. I yeah. don't drink anymore either. Yeah. What? We're just boring. You, when you get... Boring fucking... No, I know. I can't, I can't do it's hard. fucking anything anymore. And you get older, like, if I... Well, my husband's been to rehab. Cute, yeah. cute Josh has been to rehab <laughs> cute, five times. Cute Josh... Cute Josh, so the cute. narcissist, <laughs> not has so been cute. to rehab five fucking times, Amanda. So finally, after the fifth one, I was like, uh, I'll probably just kind of... I was Give so done with, with everything. Yeah. Like it had, it had haunted my life for too long. I was just like, fuck it. Let's just all quit drinking. So yeah. I don't really drink anymore, but I know what you're talking about. These, all of the canned, yeah. what are they called? Like white claws. And, yeah. I've yeah. never had a white claw. People are going to, so you nudes. don't drink either. Uh-uh. You High look nudes. like you would be fun to drink with. I am. Oh, she was a blast, was a blast to, drink to drink with. with. Wait, so why did you stop drinking? The days after were too hard. Too crazy. Yeah. And I didn't do it super much, but no, yeah. But when no. she did. When I did, it was. Remember when we were down in the Dallas house. and you got kind of put under house arrest at me casino? Oh, God, that was horrible. Wait, what was it? Okay, so we're in Dallas. A and we're party. at Highland Park Village, which has all of the, like, you know, Gucci, all the designer shops. And there's this Mexican restaurant called Mi Cocina where everybody kind of goes. And they have this drink. I forget what it's called. It's some it's sort like of, like, swirl it margarita. Sounds like the like scene like in Bridesmaids. Huge. Yeah. Yes. So I'm dying to go shopping. Pumps hate shopping. hate shopping. So myself and two of our girlfriends go shopping. She's like... I'm just going to stay here and smoke and drink these margaritas. Time. So she's <laughs> sitting outside like, here's me casino, here's Gucci. She's just sitting there just like smoking. <laughs> We're gone for like 45 minutes. We come back <laughs> and she's sitting there and there's like a waiter standing sitting right, right next, next to me. her. And she's like, this motherfucker, he like won't let me leave and he's got my ID. And I'm like... <laughs> What's what is going on here? And she's like, I don't know. He's a fucking asshole, and he's got my ID, and he won't give me ID my ID back. And so I said, What happened? And he's like, She left and walked over to Tom Thumb to buy cigarettes. To buy cigarettes. We thought she walked her tab, <laughs> so they came and confiscated her ID, and we're trying to cut her off. She's oh motherfucking God. them, yeah. and I'm like. We've got this. Give me her ID. I'll pay the tab. And she's like, you know, at this point, she's like, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Who's next? It's not pretty. She's oh a god. total blast to drink oh with. Oh, my God. And that sounds, that sounds fun. It We've sounds had 20 fun. years of fun yeah. Yeah. moments. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. And then I know it's so sad that alcohol doesn't, like, agree with you after a certain age. Yeah. That's so it true. It really does. It screws yeah. with your sleep. That's the number one. Yeah, it screws with your sleep, with your yeah. next day. It becomes... And do you feel like you're as fun without drinking, though? I kind of do. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I can be fun. Um, so canned alcohol, my thing with it is, like, another brand comes out, another brand comes out. Right. And, like, I feel like it's for young people, too. Like, if I'm going to drink, then I'm going to have, like, the, the good stuff, not the right. pre-mixed and right. I can stuff, you know? But here's the deal with... Okay, so my daughter is in college, and if she has a party, she's like... I'm going to get vodka. Tito's. I mean, they don't, we got like the gross, nasty, whatever it was, <laughs> Smirnoff. Or, Smirnoff. Oh yes. Oh I mean, yes. we got vanilla but, Smirnoff at one point. <laughs> Is that the most oh disgusting? God. And disgusting. we mix it, wait, with, for it, wait for it, with like a Diet Coke. Right. Vanilla Diet Coke. <laughs> Yes. Oh yes. Awful. Yes. Awful. But yeah. But they so get the good stuff. They now get the is good stuff. I'm saying. just like, what is? You know what going we drink on? in college? We drink. Um. Uh. We had a handle of Smirnoff, and we'd mix it. With Crystal Light. Do you remember Crystal yes, Light? Yes, the powder. So miss it because we were so healthy, right? With Crystal Light. <laughs> One time we didn't have a chaser, 
So we melted popsicles into <laughs> liquid. Oh my fucking god! Okay, I have another niche one. Okay. Um, when influencers say, "Okay, this is so niche, you guys," but like I said, I've been keeping a running list. Okay, you know when influencers work with brands and have like brand deals and right, stuff. Do you right. follow influencers and like I people follow, on social I media? A couple. Okay. Yeah. A couple. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm wondering how. Leonie, she's like a German, like she's okay, that's very niche, so you won't even know what I'm talking about, but we'll try. Okay. Okay. So when an influencer uh, is working with a brand and they're like, I love I love my let's say uh, you're I'm drinking Poland Spring water. I love my Poland Spring family. <laughs> I love my first and for like more more successful influencers like I love my Dolce Gabbana family they are I have not fucking not had and you it. hate them you hate I have them. fucking had it with that just <laughs> immediately it. yeah um okay what do you guys think about text message reactions are you a te- text message reactor like with an emoji like like oh the, reacting to the deal no like you get a text and instead of responding, you like thumbs up, thumbs oh, yes. up. Oh, it, okay. Smile emoji it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, when that first came out, I was livid. Yeah. Because I'll have a group text with people about going somewhere, and then it's like, 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 like. I was like, <laughs> so we get on, we get where we're going. I'm like, you motherfuckers, I hate that. Don't ever do that again. It drives me fucking bananas. Yeah. Fast forward to today, you use them. where it's so easy. Yeah. It's just like, okay, got it. Okay, got it. Right. But I don't. A lot of times, I do not respond that I got it. I just assume, okay, they sent it, I read it, move on down the road. It yeah. doesn't require a response. Well, most people, they like a response. They yeah. like acknowledgement. I know. So but I have would you, fallen into would the you trap. Would you emoji someone that you like really thought highly of? That's the question. Yeah, probably you, not. Rarely. I would. I would respond. Right. I, I, think would respond. I, I feel think like we emoji people that were like, whatever. She got her thumbs up. She could right. shut the fuck up. Right. Right. But if it was someone that you were like excited about the tag, yes. Whether it was like a romantic thing or like a right. friend you were looking to have, right. Then you wouldn't fucking emoji that text. No, oh, that's right. Absolutely. There are degrees yes. of text responses. Yeah. The people you like, the people that you do a lot of business with that help you make money or yeah. that you make money with, there's a proper written response. Yeah. And then it goes down to finally a thumb and maybe what a What about de- exclamation? What is that one? Like reminding you? I do that with my kids. If I text <laughs> them something and there's no response, I go in and do the exclamation point. Like, look, what look about, here, look at this and respond. Too. I do that one too. Sometimes they'll, I'll just keep hitting it back and forth until they're until like the kids. Mother. I'm like, get off Snapchat and respond the to your mother. is cute because that's like I yeah. responded and now yeah. I can write something. Yeah. yeah. But I think that I, my ego is so big, like respond to me. Right. Right. I want you a know? word. Thank yeah. you. Thank, yeah. Respond. Great. Don't I'm fucking thumbs up. Mate. I'm fine with the thumbs up. Okay. I'm totally fine with it because I don't, I want to limit my communication with people as much as possible. <laughs> I want to make my world as Wait, small as possible. Wait, what people call you randomly? How do you feel about that? I don't, oh, to just chit chat? Like, yeah, like you're texting with somebody about something and then they just call you instead of texting one So time. here's a prime example yeah. of this. So Josh, the hot husband, he, I've been in New York for a week and he messages me, I have a guy coming to the house to detail the cars. I said, oh my God, that's great. Mine needs it so badly. A minute later he called. And then he repeats exactly what he that. texted to me. I hate that. And I was like, uh-huh. And he goes, you sound irritated. I go, we just established all right. of this via text, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, but you sounded so enthusiastic. I thought I'd call and take a victory <laughs> lap. And I go, you're like my 75-year-old dad right now right. that you bitch about nonstop that he repeats the stories. Yeah, right. And he was like, let's keep talking about what a great husband I am that well, I'm getting your car let's detailed. Let's talk about the fact that, God, like, people don't know this. I feel like this is an uh, 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 kind of a down low fact dudes like talking on the phone more than women i agree totally right? completely my agree. husband talks to his friends on the phone i'm like what do you talk about you don't talk yes. to me this much right. yes what are you yes. talking about are you closing business deals because it's the only thing that like i can approve of right now right because this is and us girls it's like if you're calling me it's like i, sh- I if i'm on a walk or something but if i'm like not you know, there are certain things you want to be on a phone call for, like right. getting a pedicure, or going on a walk. Right. But, like, not randomly in life. No. Right. What about a random FaceTime call? Oh, I hate them. I don't well, answer. it depends on who. <laughs> I don't answer. It, They're like, oh, my God, that's aggressive. It depends on who it is. Right. Like, if 
my kids FaceTime right, me. I'm obviously. excited. Yeah. My oldest son goes to school in Syri- at Syracuse, so we FaceTime a lot. I'll try to FaceTime her, and she won't answer it. No. Well, not. She will. She doesn't like – when you get – when you get older. to be a little older, with that face looking back at you is not what well, you think it is. Well, she's obviously feeling it. She wants to go on camera. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, sometimes I just like to, I sometimes I like a FaceTime. Aww. Yeah, I'm not a FaceTime. And how many we- days a week do you see each other, though? One? Oh, oh no. five. <laughs> a lot. Stop. All the time. All the time. Every yeah. day, probably. Every, Every day? D- I mean, maybe yeah. not Saturday and like Sunday. for work or for... Well, no, we're both. genuinely like soulmates. Right. Oh we are soulmates. Yeah, That's if so we could cute. choose to be lesbians and marry oh my God, each my other, life would we be would be so happy. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Like are your we, husband's friends? I have an ex husband. Okay. Yeah. But they were. They were friendly. Wait, so is Pump single? I am. Pump's a single. Yeah. Ready to mingle. Yeah. Wait, how do we get like, how do we I'm get? I'm a terrible dater. Wait, She's what a, about like from the podcast? I want her to date, but I also. You think, need to do like a, like she, a Pump's. A pumps like dating. Segment. They're trying to get we me to become to. a lesbian. Kylie uh, we, is. we want her to become a lesbian. She likes softball. She likes sports. Like she hates all shopping. The stereotypical yeah. She gets along better with women than men. Yeah. I think she'd be a great lesbian. And I would be a great lesbian. Women are leaving hetero- heterosexual life in large numbers right now, and I think it would be a great second story. Second act. It would be good for content. It would be good for content, too. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So we're following kind of a pump's lesbian arc. Okay. (laughs) I want to know some of your biggest I've had it's of the the past, like, week. Okay. You go first. Okay. So I went to dinner at uh, Veronica the other night with some clients and this guy that I do business with up here. Sit down and, you know, everything in New York is close together. Tables are close together because there's not as much space. Sit down, beautiful restaurant, and that Anna Delvey building, you know, is so fabulous. And this woman sitting next to us is screaming at the top of her lungs, and it's just her voice. And she's yelling, and she's going on and on, and it's not neither boring. Who she talk? She talk. She's talking to someone just really loud. She's talking to her friend. There's oh. two two girls at dinner, yeah. and it's just like, you know, when I was in D.C. last week, and it's not interesting. <laughs> It's completely boring. It wasn't funny or clever. And then the sound of the voice was like fingernails on a chalkboard. And Pumps has a tendency to be loud. And I'll look at her and say, why are you screaming? Lower your voice. And she'll say, okay. And that's what your friend does. So I didn't know who I was angrier with. The yak mouth that was screaming at the top of her lungs. Or the friends that was enabling. She was totally enabling this rabid behavior. And I mean, four tables over, everybody is miserable with this woman. Oh, my God. And I had... Completely had it. I'm also completely had it with people that don't understand escalator etiquette. <laughs> what is escalator? Okay, what's the etiquette? Okay, stand I'll, to the side. I like the subway when I'm here. I take the subway. You do. Yeah, love, I love the it. subway. Take it all the time. Love it. Know how to run it. The whole thing. Oh, cool. So you stand on the right. You pass on the left. Okay, right. Yes. So if you're not going to walk and you want to stand and dick off on your phone. Fine. Yeah. I can swing for the yeah, fences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you stand and you hug over to the right side <laughs> right. as close as you can because yeah, there's yeah, yeah. psychos like me. They want to run down it. I want to. <laughs> I don't get psychos like you. Take the ride. I don't want. I want. <laughs> it's a moving thing. You're already moving. You get Why that many walking? more steps. You're burning more calories. Oh my God. She's Amanda. one of those. She's one of those. Yeah. How do you relate to that? Do you do. How do I'm you feel a hustler when I walk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are yours? My biggest I've had it this last week has been drivers that sit at a light and do are texting or doing something on their phone and they don't go and you have yeah. to honk i did a three honk circle around downtown the other day i'm like motherfuckers may just watch that <laughs> just watch it it's, it's not really that hard up. no when i see people on their phone yeah i want to be a karen like that yes. brings out my karen that's yes. like one of the only things that you want to be like don't fucking do that and if you right. do it be better Yes. At doing it. Yes. Right. And if you're going to make me miss a light, then I'm going to fucking hate your guts. Yeah. yeah. No, that's really annoying. Um, are there any celebs you've had it with? Um, I'm oh trying to draw. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, I think I he's him. hot. I think he's great. There are people. Oh, I've had it with, like, the British royal family. Okay. Enough. You're enough. over it? I just. I think you're either in it or you're not I in it. I felt like when they trotted I'm out. I'm also scared to say like what side I'm on. Right. Like the people are. I can see both sides. Okay. But I, when they trotted out King Charles' coronation, 
and I'm like, oh my what god, what is Katy Perry doing there? Was I'm, your first question? <laughs> well, but I just thought that's to what my, made the news. I was like, I didn't even know about this coronation, but Katy Perry can't find her seat, and that made right <laughs> that went viral. That's what I'm saying. Like, who cares? It was a snooze fest beyond all snooze fest. Yeah. It made me appreciate this fucking barbaric American culture that we have <laughs> right. because we elected this very old man, Joe Biden, and it was a fucking rock show <laughs> right. with fireworks and it made him look Katie cool. Katy Perry was there too. Yes. John Legend. <laughs> oh, she was there. John Legend yeah. was there. And I'm like, okay, that's the way you fucking do it. And they're in there in the Anglican church with men in their little... It was, I literally wouldn't go if I was invited. It was so like, It just doesn't look fun. Three no. hours sitting no. out Unless there. Unless I was like paid. I would rather paint <laughs> no, all of I these walls. A, if I was paid, I'd go. Because Katie was probably... Did Katie perform? She no. performed the next day. The, the next, next day. day but the during concert. the actual coronation, I mean snooze fest. I would rather paint the interior of these walls with a (laughs) Q-tip. With a fucking Q-tip. What about you? I don't really... No uh, celebs that you've had it with? No, I don't think so. What about a reality TV show you've had it with? All of them. (laughs) Okay, I have had it with... Every single one of them. I hate them. The only reality... TV show that I love, 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 never missed was Real Housewives of New York City. Yeah. Loved them. And so then they got rid of all those people, and I'm like totally bummed. I haven't seen the new I one. I know, but they keep on telling us like they're going to do something do. with the people, but we yeah. don't know. No, I yeah. missed that. That's the You don't only... watch any reality TV? None. None. We were on reality TV. Yeah. I don't watch reality TV, and it's funny because you'll see people that recognize us from the Bravo show, and yeah. they're like, oh, well, you know Ramona. Like, we know I her. I like, they're going to want to bring you back. Like, I don't, we don't want to no, do, do it. No. No. It's fun. So glad we did it. It gave us the platform to, you know, do this podcast. Yeah. But everywhere you go, there's 30 people with you. Right. You have to think of shit to do. Right. Because your your normal life is boring. I'm sitting at a computer picking fabric swatches. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, so yeah. you have to condense. We're it's right. not it's not scripted per se, but it's like, okay, let's go bowling. Let's go. You have <laughs> right. to create these events that are well, filmable. That sound so funny. They're, let's go bowling. You know, you're, yeah. you're trying go. to yeah. think of stuff like I threw a birthday party for my dog. And, and also, is Oklahoma? I'm um, I'm assuming like. More people would know you, right? And it would yeah, be like so, kind of annoying. They were all real. I mean, Oklahoma Super City gracious. is They're like nice people. a city of a million people, so it's very urban. And but we're know. spread out. We have more space with our million people than any other city. Really? Uh-huh. Okay. Last question. Okay. Have you ever had it with each other? I don't think so. What? No. We've only been in one fight. Yeah. Your whole life. It wasn't really even a fight because we both were like, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. Yeah, we were both going to L.A. on separate flights. We kind of got – I didn't even remember what it was about. Like recently? No, this was – Years ago? Years ago. And we kind of – it was like, well, you should have done this. Well, you should have done this. And then we both had to power down. We're on separate flights. And then by the time we landed, it was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. (laughs) But, like, here's the great thing about our friendship. If I irritate her, she will look at me and go, oh, fuck off. And I'll just say, okay. Or I'll go, you fuck <laughs> off. And then we keep going because we both have super thick skin. So if if I've had it with her, I tell her actively right. in the moment. Oh, see, that's, that's I'm like, I feel like that's, that's key. Key for any relationship. I'm like, go fuck yourself. And she's like, you go fuck yourself. And then we just, it's off our chest. And then we just proceed. It's just life. easy. And so, Aww. yeah, we have it with each other frequently. And it's an immediate go fuck yourself, move on. Move oh, on it's like on the notebook when he's like. Um, trying to convince her to stay. And he's like, there's like, you know, you annoy me. And then I have a, you have like a 10 second rebound. And then I love you again. We're the notebook. We are. We are. Soulmates in the notebook. Yes. You guys should recreate a notebook (laughs) scene for your next viral reel. Yes, that's what we need to do. Girls, thank you so much, Angie and Jennifer. Do people call you Jen? Jen. Jen. She calls me Jenny. I call her Jenny. You do. So happy for your success. Oh, thank you. And you're hilarious and fun. Everyone go check out their podcast. I've had it. And thank you for listening. Thank you for thank coming. You. Thank you, Amanda. Amanda.